Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the 2022 Talaro Model 20J with a pop top. Let's check it out. Step board for the passenger. Running board along the bottom. Big awning on top. Opening window back here. Two 110 outlets. Connection for an exterior grill. Moving to the rear, there's a backup camera above. Below, there's a 3,500 pound tow hitch with a four pin connection. And take a look at the clearance. Tule bike rack right here on the door. Do you have to watch your head? Each door has this bungee netting for storage. And this is the garage area. On the driver's side, there is a spray port. Moving to the driver's side, there's an opening window back here. The Truma exhaust, cassette toilet. Below is the sewer hose storage and connection. LED light above. Lockable gravity water fill, city fill, cable TV, 30 amp plug-in, LP fill with the on-off switch, opening window, gas input, and a side step for the driver. Let's check out the front. All right, let's check out the inside. There's a sliding accordion style screen door right here. Let's step on inside. Grab handle on the side. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start in the cockpit area. I do have to take a step up to enter as well as duck my head. The seat is soft and comfortable. It has this armrest. It is not a power seat, so you have to manually adjust it. There are power and heated mirrors. Now, this is a standard RAM platform. There are basic controls right here on the steering wheel. The dash area has this clipboard in the center so you can secure some papers. On the passenger side, there's a glove box for storage above, a ledge below that, and another glove box below. In the center, there's a touchscreen Pioneer Entertainment Center and a cup holder right here, USB port, and a 12 volt. Down below, in between the driver and passenger seat, there are three cup holders, and this little area right here where you can put your cell phone. Above the driver's seat, there's an area where you can store some items, as well as above the passenger seat. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Now behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat, up above is a headliner shelf and there's a good amount of room in there for storage. This model does have a pop top, so let's go up and take a look. Okay. 
Now up here in the pop top, right upon the entry, there are four USB ports. There's even a light on each side, an LED light with an additional USB port on each. There are two opening windows on the sides as well as one in the front. Up above, there's a skylight with a privacy shade and a bug screen. Now there's a good amount of room in there. Enough room for two people. Now behind the driver's seat, there's bench seating for two with two lap seat belts. There's this lagoon style table that does swivel around. Right here, there's a window that does open up and it has a bug screen attached to it. Pull down privacy shade and a couple of lights that you can push on and off right above. Above this bench seating are a couple of cabinets and they both open up into one big unit. Down below, there's two USB ports and two 110 outlets. So that makes this a good work surface area. Okay, so right across upon entry of the sliding door, there's the Truma controller, which controls your in-cabin heating and your hot water. Below that is the BM Pro controller. Down here, there are two 110 outlets, the master on-off switch, a battery monitor, the inverter controller, solar charge controller, and right on the side of that is the fire extinguisher. All right, let's check out the kitchen. So there is a good amount of counter space here. There's a covered sink with a curved, tall curved faucet a covered two burner cooktop. Right in between the sink and the cooktop, there's this power bar, which has two 110 outlets and two USB ports. Nice window right here in front of the cooktop. It does not open up, but there is a pull down shade for privacy. Right above, there's a microwave. It is not convection. On the side of that is a cabinet, and it has a 110 outlet, which the microwave is plugged into. Moving below, so below the sink, there are three drawers, and they are a good size nice and large. On the side of that is the refrigerator and this is a vitrifrigo. So there are three levels of storage in here and these shelves are adjustable. It has this nice ledge. The bottom has two little storage bins. The freezer is a good size and it is magnetically closing. I love the way it shuts. The door has three shelving areas and the top two bins are adjustable. Now right across from the kitchen, there's some storage. So there's this tall cabinet, which appears to be a wardrobe. It does have a hanging rod. You can use this as a pantry. However, there are no shelves in there below is another storage area. It's a big space, no shelves. And below that, there are two 110 outlets. Now let's check out the bathroom. So there's this rolling retractable door here for the bathroom and check it out. So I'm gonna step inside and check out how much room is in here. 
Now it's a little on the small side, but I do have a good amount of arm room and there's no shower curtain, which is a bonus. There's a mirror for right in front of the medicine cabinet. Good amount of space in there. However, there is no shelf. The shower head is small and they've attached it to the wall, so it's a little restricting. It does have a start stop switch though. Below, there's a flip down sink and the faucet you just swivel towards the basin and when you're done the water flows into the drain back there when you tilt the basin up. On the side there's the light switch and the fan switch. There's a covered toilet paper holder and a cassette toilet. Okay so that just about does it for the bathroom. So on the side of the bathroom, there's this wardrobe. It's a pretty big size. There's a hanging rod in there and it has a couple of adjustable shelves. Right on the side of that wardrobe is a TV that does swivel out. And behind the TV, there are two 110 outlets, two USB ports and a 12 volt. So this is the rear seating and there are two seat belts that are over the shoulder belts for two more passengers. There's also this additional side seating. The one on the driver's side is pretty much unusable because the wardrobe is right on top of it. And the passenger side seating is usable and it is quite comfy, but there is no seat belt. On the driver's side here, there is an opening window with a screen, pull down privacy shade. Above there's a speaker, a light that you can push on and off, and another light that you can adjust and also push on and off. The passenger side also has a window and it also opens up and has that screen. Pull down privacy shade. And above, same setup, there's a speaker, a light that you can push on and off, and a light in the back that is adjustable and you can push it on and off. Now right here on the side of the side seating on the driver's side, there are two 110 outlets. On the passenger side, there's this little storage area. Right in the center, there is the stand for where the pedestal table goes. Now I'm going to show you how this rear seating area transforms into a bed. So I'm going to start by pulling up on the rear sofa and laying it flat. Next, I'm going to take the tabletop for the pedestal table and put it down on the ledge on each of the side seats. Then I'm just going to grab the backrests and place them on top of that. And there is the bed. That wasn't too bad. Let's check it out. So there's a good amount of room back here. Not too bad, I think it's pretty comfortable. All right, so I'm gonna take it apart. Just pull these back up. Pull up on the pedestal tabletop. It's a little on the heavy side, but it's not too bad. I'm just gonna place that in here for now. And I'm gonna pull up the rear sofa. Okay, a little bit difficult getting that back seat up, but not too bad. So let's check out the upper cabinets back here. On the driver's side, there is a couple of cabinet doors and opens up into one unit. 
There is a cable in this one and two 110 outlets along with an HDMI. On the passenger side, there's another couple of cabinet doors, opens up again into one big unit, and there are two USB ports on the side there. Right above me is a low profile AC unit. So that wraps it up for this tour of the 2022 Talaro Model 20J. Now this rear sleeping area was a little on the difficult side to assemble only because the pedestal tabletop that is needed right here was a little on the heavy side and the sofa part was a little difficult to put back together because it rubbed against the door. However, it did offer two wardrobe areas. The smaller one can be used as a kitchen pantry. The bathroom was a little on the small side. Now the kitchen was a really good size. There are seat belts for six people in here and it did have that additional pop top so it can sleep four people. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Bye for now.